Alrighty, I am Chris Malone. And I'm Mark Hagen, and this is my worst gig ever. Alright, so I've been playing, this sounds kind of dirty, I've been playing with Mark Hagen since 99. 99, right? 98. Was it 98? Jesus Christ. Started. Good God, we're old. And we've had a few <laughs> humdingers uh, over the years, but uh, Mark is going to talk about his, well, I think we're going to mix it into like a little from a little potpourri. Yeah, because I've been, in, I was playing quite a few years before. Me and him started working together, and with a bunch of different a bands, and some some good, some not so good. Yeah. So uh, had some pretty interesting gigs along the way. Um, you don't have to have a worst, so you can just kind of like. The, I mean, is there a worst? Was there like a one where you're like, Jesus, this is the worst shit show I've ever been a part of? Well, I know one. Uh, yeah, there was, there was definitely one, one that, that wasn't necessarily our fault. Yeah. Um, but I've had a couple that were just more comical than... They were bad, but it was, like, comical. I got it. I won't name the band. Yeah, we won't name the band. Um, but what, it, was a, it was a cover band, rock band, and did a lot of metal. And we had booked a show or the lead singer had booked this show in this big venue and big sound company there and everything and he put a bunch of different bands together but well it turns out they weren't bands they were rap artists um, and we were the only actual band there and like these rap artists they were pros they were good they were amazing uh, some of them had producers with them and this is the first uh, rap show I'd ever been to so we're watching this thing and I don't know how it, it was interesting because like, you know, I've always done, you know, band shows where a band plays a set and they're done and another plays a set and they're done. And that's not how they worked it. They were, were yeah, um, they were going back and forth. They right? were rotating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were just, each of them were, would do a song and then the next one would come up and do a song. And they all had pre-recorded music with them. And like I said, they were just unreal. Real good. pro level. Yeah, yeah. They were so good. I was that was so entertaining but it got to our set and we we kept getting pushed back and pushed back farther and farther into the night and the promoter <laughs> kept getting more and more hammered as the <laughs> night went on so he would come out to introduce the band and just start slurring yeah. more and more <laughs> every time <laughs> like i don't know if they'd, they'd forgotten about us or what but so at the end of the night uh, lead singer had this idea that we we're gonna close the curtains on stage and fill the whole stage up with fog and So he closed the curtains and he started filling the stage up with fog and we got all ready to go They opened the curtains and everyone had left <laughs> Literally the entire crowd there was a sound man and a bartender out there oh. and the promoter who was oh. ran outside and kept trying to pull people back in oh. and that's great like, Finally got a few people to come back, and lead singer starts yelling at them, you know, over the mic for leaving, and I'm just like, oh god, this is just that's pretty great. That's yeah. very Spinal Tap. Yeah, that, that was, it was that was, I I couldn't help but laugh at that. That, that was, was wonderful. But as far as like worst things, uh, we had done this town festival, and we had done it a couple years before. But the difference was, uh, the other years we did it, uh, I had taken care of the sound. And I was running everything. Uh, they hi actually hired me to run sound for the festival for the whole weekend, and did a couple of nationals and like a uh, puppet show. <laughs> That's right, there was a puppet I show. Did a, I did do a puppet show. And but the next year we came back. They're like, oh yeah, we got a sound company and everything. They're gonna do. It. I'm like, cool. And we just came back to play. I got to pause for a second. Every time I hear anybody, like when we have a booking, they're like, no, no, we got a sound company. Yeah. I'm just instantly filled with dread. 
Yeah. Presume. <laughs> so the sound company they got was a guy that had only done uh, demolition derby ra- and races. With one microphone. With one microphone. So he had like a four channel board and some speakers that were as we got up there and like he had no idea and we tried to get you know we couldn't even get it to go through the mains much less through a monitor system and I tried to go back there and be like okay no you gotta plug in this plug in this plug in this and he had no idea <laughs> and it, it just so bad my favorite part of that show was the part when he you could see just steam like billowing out of his ears when he's trying to get the monitor because I'd be like hey monitor down here and he would shoot it to your monitor yeah and then the best I don't remember what song it was but we're sitting there and he throws the robot voice on your voice and I just I'm like oh my god that was oh I, yeah, that was just <laughs> awful and, and then he left to try a different board yeah, he went went and brought back like a, a six channel board that he had with less options. Yeah, that had less stuff. It was more like a DJ board. Yeah, barely. Yeah, and it was just like, oh god. What did I'm like? I asked the, which is probably why we haven't been asked back. Yeah, I, I asked the guy that was in charge of him like, what did you pay this guy? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I'm. The, the funny aside to this story is usually if there's anybody that's going to lose their shit and kind of be an asshole, it's going to be me. Yeah. And I'm just sitting back and Mark's just yelling at this guy. And like it, I I to be and it was so bad. I have to just jump in on this just to, that we actually what we didn't even do two sets. Yeah. We cuz we physically could like there was the, there was no sound and because the sound was so bad, everyone had left. Yeah. Because there was like nobody there, because people probably walked in and like, Jesus, I'm out. I don't want to listen to robots and voices to keep playing. And yeah, we only play. Yeah, we didn't even play like two full sets. We finally were like, we're done. This is we can't even play. Yeah, that was a yeah, that was a hoot. That was. It's funny when like, because I because I was I think I was talking to Mindy and I'm like, Mark's gonna lose his shit here. <laughs> yeah, and I don't. I don't. And ever he doesn't ever get mad. Temper. I but, lose my temper. And that's the thing is like that, that if if something gets bad enough where Mark's mad at somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, that was that was a that was a fun two hour drive to play like <laughs> hour and ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> good God. Years so what, back. Years way back. Early, early nineties. Um I remember playing a show for a uh, biker group. I will not name the biker group. Fair enough. But they're a well-known biker group, and done a bunch, did a bunch of uh, shows for those guys. And actually, pretty much every biker group I've ever done shows for, they're amazing. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're good. So dudes. much fun, and they're awesome guys. And they're efficient and professional. Yeah, they're very, you know, just top-notch. They pay, take very good care yep. of us. Yep. And. You know they're always super fun because they always dance and party. They, oh, they're, they're a good they're, crowd. They're party good crowd, yeah. But some friends of mine had come to this, and they had brought uh, their aunt, who was a rather uh, large woman at the time, mm. and was very, I would be what the word, combative. Ah. And she managed a cantankerous sort. Yes, she had managed to pick a fight with them, which it was right near the end of the night, mm. and they all spilled out into the parking lot and beat the living crap out of my friends for <laughs> like forty-five minutes. <laughs> and it was like, Ooh. I'm like, where'd everybody go? And they come in, they're all bloody. It's like, we need to leave. They're coming back with more people. We gotta go. <laughs> like, oh what my. did you do? <laughs> Like, just get in the car, let's go. <laughs> gotta go now. <laughs> oh, where was that at? Oh, that was in Minnesota. Somewhere. Yeah. Some unnamed place in Minnesota. Yeah, uh, a bar outside of Chatfield, Minnesota. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, is no longer there anymore. I suppose, what else you got that you can actually put on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's some of those we can't talk oh, about. Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot. Well, there was it, it was at that same bar too that uh, 
our, our guitar player was so drunk when we got there. Like, he was hammered and been drinking all day. And fun thing about him is he could still play when he was drunk. You mm -hmm. really didn't notice it because he gets squinty-eyed. <laughs> but I didn't realize he was as drunk as he was. And while we're playing, like, I was drumming at the time, and... He turns around and does something, and what he done is he thrown up all over himself <laughs> on the guitar, on himself, and he gone back and grabbed our backdrop and cleaned the guitar off with the backdrop, and then just kept playing. <laughs> <laughs> didn't miss a beat, did didn't, he? No, he didn't. I didn't even, <laughs> like, oh. nobody in the crowd noticed. He just kept playing. Wow. That is fucking money. Oh, my God. I've heard I've heard that story so many times and it's never not funny. Because <laughs> like, I can totally see that happening. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, good times.